Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Hustle Up Podcast. We are filming a one and done today recording if you're tuning in via audio. We are the media mastermind bringing smaller conversations into the larger conversations. This is a one and done segment and uh, a subset of one and done, this is a real or fake where we talk, take a topic, chop it up and decide if it's, it's real or fake. So today we're looking at the idea, is social media harmful, real or fake? A lot of times it's situational and we've, we've discussed at length that the content you consume, the inputs that you, uh, that you are directing affect your output. And, uh, and social media, for example, offers a lot of memes, a lot of negative inputs. It offers a lot of complaining. At the same time, depending on who you follow and, and what kind of hashtags you're, you're looking at, and all of the good information you consume, it can create a natural idea meritocracy. We have t- chopped up the idea meritocracy at length, but the, the concept that all of these ideas are being brought to the forefront, brought to the conversation, and the best ones are disseminated the most efficiently. Uh, before, 20, 30 years ago, if you wanted press coverage, you had to go to the news, you had to Uh, hope that they would pick you up. You had to choose whichever news station matched your your own bias or or your own uh, your own belief system and uh, and and happen to have a juicy story. What they're going for is attention. It's eyeballs. It's uh, it's what's whatever is going to sell the most ads or generate the most uh, attention. Attention is the currency. Clickbait. Clickbait. It was it was the clickbait of the 80s, the clickbait yeah. of the 90s. With the advent of social media, everybody, anybody, is able to generate a hashtag, create a post, the right person shares it, it gets brought to the forefront of the conversation, and instantly a post could go viral and reach, uh, and reach a national or even international level. And my general take is that social media is incredibly helpful. Mm-hmm. It is, it is uh, one of the most important things since the internet. Right. Uh, since the internet, it's one of the most important modern day functions or, or tools that you can use to bring your conversations. It's what we're using to bring our conversations to, to a larger audience, to a general pool. And, uh, and we'll, we'll, we hear all the time, well, social media is bad for you, mm-hmm. or social media is addicting. And it, it can be. You know, it certainly, it, it holds that potential. It can damage self-esteem. I don't believe that it's good for uh, elementary school. I don't believe that it's necessarily even good for middle schoolers. I think it could be. But for adults in modern day society, it is the most important thing since the internet because it has, uh, we made a verb up, meritocratized, uh, the, uh, the idea that the verb of creating an idea of meritocracy, it is meritocratized conversation and idea and into, you've heard about that? Kind the, of, kind of, because this is where I think social media gets a little crazy. Right. It's democratized conversation, Okay. because those that aren't credible also have opinion. And mm. you get an opinion from everyone, so it's not as much a meritocracy as as, as much as it is a democracy. But, but here's okay. the caveat to that is right. So we always talk about the idea that it's it's like the internet, like money, like a gun. It's a tool, and you're going to have different kinds of energies using that tool. And so there's just going to be a, it's going to be a dual playing field, a duality split playing field from the get go. So there's going to be good truths and you know perceivably good truths and perceivably bad truths that you're going to see on social media. Call them negative comments, and call them you know the 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 stimulation your brain gets from having these notifications and how that could be a lead cause. I believe maybe in where in where mental diseases are coming from mm-hmm. and at least developing and building upon is from that the you know this is it's every time you get a notification it's like a little drug mm. and so you that's to me and you have companies where lead developers are coming out from internally and saying that these companies are focusing on ways to optimize how long you're on the app 
and which, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's right. Because attention is the currency, these companies have become what the what the news agencies were in the 80s, in the 90s, even the early 2000s before social media really started taking off in the direction that it has. Mm -hmm. And so if they are controlling the conversation, if they are limiting content with a bias, whether, you know, whether it's right, Absolutely. whether it's left, it's a bias. If they're controlling the conversation to, uh, to make sure that certain ideas get more attention than others, it has... I'm not, I don't know if it's necessarily a democracy as much as a meritocracy because the good ideas get to the forefront. The, the, the ideas that people want to hear are, are being brought in such a way, like Jordan Peterson, for instance. Mm -hmm. These are ideas that are largely stifled. He was banned in Australia. Yeah. After, you know, like, there, there are people who want to silence Jordan Peterson, but people are thirsty for the kind of content that he consumes. When he drops knowledge, it's like taking a cool sip of water because uh, because th they've been longing to hear this type of info. Right. It's not being brought to the conversation, and when it is, it's being stifled by um, you know, whoever, by Australia. But just, but just as much as that happens, you have your satire writers who take it to the extreme and that's where you know now Trump has coined it and it's become a word and it's become a cliche of fake news mm. but that's always something whether it comes from a satire article that gets absorbed by the wrong you know yeah maybe everyone thinks it's real and now yeah. it becomes true so so there's an element of balance there too so but if that's the negative side right the positive side is it's created opportunity for people to monetize that's right. created people. It's created opportunity for people to deliver high frequency messages, yeah. like what we're doing now. A lot of you know, a lot of I'm big on on um, mind over matter, even with you know sickness and a lot of the ways and things I've learned that work for me and my body. Have I've watched nobody on YouTube. would ever know about Wim Wim Hof, Wim Hof if it right. weren't YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, the the advent of social media, being able to share his story. Yeah. If if you just heard it, in fact, if I heard about Wim Hof on the news. I think I would be less likely to believe it than running across his Instagram story. Right, and so that even goes into the bigger point, which is, and, and you were alluding to this earlier, which is the media companies always have corporate interests in mind, right? It's it's clickbait on a, a tenfold, right? So they're, they've been delivering us a very, very... Um, bias niche, like they all have their niches within their biasness and or biasism, whatever the correct ending of that is, but their biasness is all very niche and it's all over the spectrum, but we've only had X amount of corporate interest entities delivering us media. Now with social media, you're, you're getting perspectives from everybody, primary it's, sources. It's funny too, because if you want to figure out what's going on in a, in a breaking situation, right. what's trending on Twitter is, uh, is like, I mean, that's going to be your, it's not necessarily the most accurate, but it's going to be your fastest news source, right? right. If you want to verify something, Go check it on Instagram. Like you want to, you want to look somebody up, or you want to, you want to see. Even after yesterday, after you tagged Wim Hof in in that tweet, I hadn't, I didn't know about his Instagram. So I went and followed his Instagram, and it is on point. Like it's incredible, right? Yeah. But as I looked, that established more credibility. Mm -hmm. I went and I, I went to establish cre credibility through Instagram. Um, when you when you want to look somebody up, looking up their Facebook profile or their page, right. this has become the new news and it doesn't replace the internet. People still no. Google things and Google is still incredibly important in the conversation. But if, if you want to figure out what's going on immediately, like going to a news site is, is old school, yeah. right? You want yeah. to check social and see what's trending. Not to mention, you know, um, there's, there's an epidemic right now for cable called the cord cutter movement. Yeah. And everyone's I am a cord cutter. Of, I'm a cord cutter as well. And yeah. everyone's getting rid of cable and moving towards video streaming platforms. You know, even personally, I, when uh, the hurricanes were hitting either a year or two ago um, in Miami and, and wherever else it was, I was on Facebook Live and Snapchat Maps, like watching it. And I just, that that's when it, I realized that social media was now not only where I go for almost anything that's current, but also now the weather. Yeah. Which was a complete paradigm shift for me when I like, had that epiphany. So, um, and, and then the other big thing is the, the opportunity it's created for people, right? 
you know, it's um, advertisers. YouTube in particular. YouTube, YouTube. Oh, Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Um, Twitch. Twitch. Like these one. new things too. Yeah. Like social media is a very expansive thing. And think about where esports is going, right? And for anyone who doesn't know what esports is, esports is um, online sports or, or when the when people who play video game console sports or PC sports get together in these arenas and they, they battle it out and it's like a real sport. In fact, it's more watched than the MLB and NHL per month now. Well, and uh, the, the National League of Legends or the International League of Legends tournament had more viewers than the Super Bowl. The NBA championship. And the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl. And the Super that, Bowl. See that, and you know this thing is, and esports is still in its infancy. Yeah. And it's like it's it's these yeah. are these new platforms, and everything's moving certain directions, right? But I still think no matter where it goes, you're gonna have that element of duality, because no matter what the tool is, you just have different kind of frequencies and energies in the universe. It's you know I'm I'm big meta, and, and that's one of the laws of the universe is a law of duality. Well, so what truth is there then? Because I'm I'm a believer that social media is incredibly helpful. It is a tool in your arsenal. But at what point does social media become harmful? That's a good question, and I think it's it's very subjective because it, it would it would harm people different ways. Like sure. for you know someone whose career jobs on being an Instagram influencer or a YouTuber, it's you know it, it's the element of of um, like of losing that. Like at that point, you need that thing. So you're to me, that, upon you're it. dependent. So that's harmful. Think about when Vine died. Right? Oh yeah, you had all these guys that were guys girls that were instantly famous on Vine. Yeah. And then boom, their uh -huh. like their platforms just gone. Yeah, I also think the second group of people would be the people who are ego based, dependent on it, who need it for that validation. Yeah, who who really get that serotonin or dopamine release whenever that notification, that like, that comment mm -hmm. is made. Um, and then the third thing would be just just the people who don't who have. Maybe, I don't want to call them closed-minded, but people who don't meritocratize information. How about well, eco echo chambers? Echo, echo. I always hear, when I hear people say echo chambers, I think eco chamber every time for some <laughs> reason. I don't, I don't read it like that. Well, it's spelled like that, I think. No, it's, no, it's not. It's not even spelled like that. It is e e Echo, like echo. Yeah. You know. So you get Amber ch echo chambered, right? Yeah. That's another thing. And, and then, then you don't have diversity of thought. And you follow people that you want to that you like to hear from and then you're getting the same inputs over and over and over again which is one reason I think it's incredibly important to follow people with different mindsets. Yeah. I got one friend, I know you follow him too, shout out to my one friend who is a riot on libertarianism, on, uh, on uh, he's something else. And then I also have another friend who is, uh, she works in uh, the Senate in a left state, mm -hmm. and uh, I follow both of them because as as wild as one person is on one side politically, the other person is the exact opposite. Right. And now I'm seeing both sides of the story, and I feel like I, it, it, it's good for me not to just hear one or just hear yeah. the other. Now I get to see both sides of the spectrum. Yeah. So, let's come back to it. Social media is harmful, real or fake? I think that's fake, or I think it's limited. I think that's a limited view of it. I say social media is just as harmful as it is helpful. It's just Ooh. as helpful as it is harmful. That's right. Um, it's just I can't I can't get over the fact of the law of duality or yin and yang. Input equals call, output, call, 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 and it is yeah. what you make of it. Yeah. yeah, it is what you make of it. It is the inputs you're consuming. It is the content that you're taking in. And uh, I have personally done social media cleanses where I go in and I unfollow accounts, hashtags, uh, stuff that I think is not pushing me in the direction that my higher vibrational being wants to be. Right. This is not what 30-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old Clint is going to consume for the rest of his life. And I go in and I refollow things that are music. Uh, I, I follow hashtag Ableton push. Mm -hmm. I follow hashtag entrepreneurship. And now these posts are being yeah. brought into my feed that are, that's attracting the type of thing, music production, business, entrepreneurship, motivation. This, the content that's coming to the forefront of my screen, to the forefront of my mental conversation mm -hmm. is, is now stuff that, I, you know, that, that higher vibrationally, that future me wants to be or wants to be yeah. like, or emulate. No, I agree. And uh, 
That's that's very valuable input because reverse engineering who your higher self is, understanding who your higher self is, and figuring out and making your decisions based on that is everything. Mm. So with that being said, be mindful about how you use any tools. Right. Social media is a big one because it's pretty much your tattoo on the internet. Mm. So be cognizant about what you're posting. Be cognizant about the information you're intaking. Again, just be mindful about how you're using the platform and how much you're using the platform because I think we're under the mutual agreement that it's just as harmful as it is helpful, yeah. just as helpful as it is harmful. So it's about how you use it and you know, just make sure you're using it for the right reasons and follow us at HSTLUP on social media for hopefully only positive high frequency uh, reasons. Content. Content. And uh, www. Well, I think there's three, three w's. w's. <laughs> HSTLUP. Com. Uh, we're gonna have all our content on there. Our blog is on there. Our book reading list are, is on there. Um, our social medias are on there. Everything you want to know about us is on there. Um, I'm Jonathan. I'm Clint. Remember to be mindful when using social media. And until next time, hustle, hustle up, baby, hustle up.